don't think he was a real doctor. <laughs> so, uh, my name is Robert Wells. And, you know, after the next five minutes, you're either going to be laughing or you're going to be crying or both. You know, much like the first time I had sex. So, my grandfather was always young at heart until he died. Yeah, that's very sad. <laughs> so, anyway, I've just got back from my holidays and I'm bored of flesh. I've seen so much flesh in the past two weeks. I saw more flesh than I did in my entire teenage life, which was a lot. And I'm bored of it because there's no, it's a, there's no mystery. I'm longing for the time where big winter jumpers come back. You know, big winter coats, because there's mystery about that. You never are quite sure what is underneath. Maybe they have a third nipple. Maybe they have a birthmark shaped like a swastika. You never know. It's just a mystery. I, the flesh is just boring. There's nothing to see. Well, there's a lot to see, but that's the point. So, yes. Um, so I've been on my holidays. And, you know, you're looking at my face, you're thinking, this man has not been on holiday. He's not, and I'm not lying to you. I would never do that. All right? My tanning goes from white as a sheet to red raw like a slap ass. There is no in-between. There is no lovely browning. And I know you're going to think, oh, no, you start at really, really high factor. And then by the end of the holiday, you're really low factor. And you have a lovely brown. No, bollocks. I don't tan. It just doesn't happen. And, you know, I really want to tan. And I'm on a holiday. And I really, really want to have a good time. But there's just something about it. I just can't. I'm in the sun. And I'm trying to relax. I'm trying to have a good time. But it just feels like I'm a fatty joint of meat that's being slow cooked in the oven for four hours before being left in an air-conditioned room to cool. That's just how it feels to me. You know, I want to relax, I want to have a good time. And the first problem with going on holiday is you are never, never as good looking as you want to be. <laughs> never, you know? Obviously, you start the diet in January. I started mine in January 2006. You know, it's, it's not going that well, I'm gonna be honest, okay? And you know, I go to the gym. And I'll come back from the gym and my wife will be like, oh, how did it go? Oh, babe, I smashed it. You know, got the glutes and the glats and the melats and the tats, you know, all of the major muscle groups. But she knows what I really did. I know what I really did. I was there, you know. I did the classic workout. I'm going to patent it. It's the SSJ. That's the sauna, steam, jacuzzi. That is the workout of kings. Yes. The results are not as good. I am the spokesman. <laughs> you know, it's not as good, but you go to one of those workouts, you walk out, you feel like a king. You do. You look like shit, but you feel like a king. This man knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, I'm on my holidays. I'm on my holidays, and I'm there, and I'm trying to relax. I'm trying to have a good time. And you're there, and I burn easily. So you're covered in the Factor 50 sun cream all over. It takes half an hour, but you know, it's worth it. And you're there in the sun, and you're trying to relax. You're there, thinking, oh, yeah, I'm gonna have a good time. I'm gonna relax here, it's gonna be lovely. But then something happens. You're there, and your body thinks, oh, you're getting a bit hot. No worry, Bobby boy, I've got this. I'll help you out. So you get a bit of sweat, just go on your brow here. And then something happens, some kind of sciencey stuff. Um, it's a bit weird, but some potent chemical reaction happens where sun cream, it mixes with the sweat. That stuff is lethal. As soon as it goes into your eye, you're there trying to relax and you start to cry. You start to cry, so you're crying now. And you're trying to have a good time and your wife turns to you and says, are you having a good time? You're like, yes, of course I am, babe. Having a great time, loving it. You don't wanna, you don't wanna tell her the truth. So you think, oh no, I'll go for a swim. That's it, I'll go for a swim, that'll be relaxing. So you go down, you get down to the sea, and there is a moment just there. You think, oh, I'm relaxed. But then two things happen. Seaweed, that stuff is horrible. I hate it, as soon as it touches your skin, I just feel like, ah, disgusting. It feels like you're being accosted by a wet fish. It's disgusting. And then another thing happens. You get a big massive wave, and then you get a big load of salt water in your mouth. And so now you've got the taste of vomit in the back of your throat. And you've got the sun cream in your eyes and you're crying and you feel like you're about to vomit. So you think, okay, I'll go back to, the, go back to my town. So you go back to the town and you think, oh, okay, I've got a nice beer. I'll have my beer. So you have, get your beer, you drink your beer. Ah, fucking warm. So now you've got warm beer in the back of your throat. You've got vomit on you. And you, and you feel like you're, you're, you're welling up and you're crying. And you're, you're there and you're trying to have a good time. You're trying to relax. 
you know, and you're really trying. I want to relax, I want to have a good time. And then after all that, after all that, your wife, she turns to you and she says, you better put some cream on, otherwise you'll burn. The whole cycle starts again. This is not relaxing. I want to, but it's just not going to happen. Thank you very much for listening to me tonight. Thank you. Too.